Hi up everyone, I'm back with another painting time lapse and today's dog is Ruby, a little brindle terrier who I was commissioned to do a painting of. Last year it was for Christmas so it would have been around about November, December time when I did this painting. Ruby's passed away now so this is like a tribute painting to her and it was commissioned by one of her owners for the other owner as a Christmas gift. Fortunately they had some pretty decent photos that I could work from because doing these really realistic paintings it requires a reference photo that is a little bit better in quality because obviously you've got to be able to see as much detail as you can. This painting's been done in acrylics and I were working on watercolour paper which were Fabriano Artistico Hot Press at the 300 pound or 640 GSM weight which holds up a lot better for your wet mediums. I like to use the hot press because it's a nice smooth surface which is a lot better for doing really fine details like what I'm doing in this style of painting. Paints that I'm using are acrylics and they're mostly Winsor & Newton, some Galleria and some Professional. I've also got Liquitex in black. It's the Liquitex Professional soft body that I'm using. The brushes that I'm using are mostly Winsor & Newton Cotman, which I quite like, but I have got a few others that I can't remember the name of in my pot as well. I use various different ones from round brushes in different sizes depending on what work you're doing from the just blocking in to doing the fine detail. And I use rigger brushes as well, or liner brushes they often call them, for doing fine airs and that kind of thing. If anybody's got any other good suggestions for brushes, then let me know in comments because I know sometimes they can be a little bit expensive. And I always worry about buying something else in case it turns out to just not be very good. So if anybody's got any good suggestions for brushes that aren't too expensive but still good quality, especially when you get your small, you like your double knots, rounds and things like that, let me know in comments. I've also been considering experimenting more with paint brands as well, the acrylic paints, and I've been wondering about whether to try golden and maybe the fluid ones, because sometimes getting tiny details can be a little bit difficult We are more viscous type paints, so I was thinking something a little bit more fluid where you don't have to add water as much in order to improve its flow. So if anybody's used them for this kind of work, then please let me know in comments and let me know what they like because I know golden acrylics are quite expensive so I might just try like one colour or something like that at first and see how it goes because I do, I have mixed different brands of acrylic together before and not had any issues I must admit I have been watching quite a few other YouTube channels and they are giving me a few ideas and what have you you spend a little bit too long just doing what you're familiar with and I think they've reminded me that maybe I should just start experimenting a little bit more at least with my equipment for the time being. Whilst I'm busy with commissions, I can't do much work for myself, so when it comes to artwork, I'm just having to do what the clients want. But when I start getting more into teaching side of things and hopefully getting income coming from that side, then I might be able to start doing more work just for myself, just what I want to draw and paint, and then I can start experimenting a little bit more with style sometimes as well. I'll always do my realism, I'll never move away from that, but it would be nice to just loosen up a little bit more sometimes and do something a little bit different. And seeing all this other artist's work, and especially watching it in progress on YouTube and what have you, it's, uh, it is inspiring me quite a lot, and it's making me feel like I want to do that stuff a lot more than what I used to feel. So anyway, if you want to see me do some tutorials using this dog, then let me know in comments. I mean, the, there is a lot of colours going on with this dog, a lot of textures and lighting effects. Makes it quite an interesting subject to paint. It means there's a lot of different techniques that have to be used. Well, that also means that there's more scope for doing various tutorials for different aspects of it. So let me know in comments if there's out specific about this painting that you'd like to see me do a little bit more in-depth tutorial on and I'll see about doing that. All of my upcoming paintings after this one are going to be of collies, unfortunately, not really much variation. It's basically all people have been asking me to paint lately and they are different colours and coat types but yeah it's going to be all collies and that's border collies as well. In UK we tend to refer to border collies as being the collie. I know in USA they do that for rough collies 
but for us in UK it's border collies. So yeah, I, I do know a lot of collie people so I get a lot of collie requests. Although I have got a Pyrenean sheep dog one to do and that won't be coming up just yet because I've not even painted it and I've got another collie one in front of that to paint so it is these that's paying me wages at minute so I really do have to concentrate on these I'm afraid I can't do the variation that I'd like to do but that's something to look to for in future because I do want to move away from commissions a little bit and do more of my own stuff and any support I get on here is always going to help me to move in that direction a little bit quicker. So I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who's subbed me so far if you're watching this. And everybody who watches and comments on my videos, especially the people that have started to become regulars. It's all really appreciated and really helps my channel to grow. It, and it is growing, slowly but surely. I just need to get more videos up, I know. That's always going to be easier when I've got good ideas as to what kind of videos to put up and again that's where you people come in because it's it's you that I'm doing the videos for so it's it's you whose opinions I need to know as to what you want to see next. So get your requests in there and this goes for any painting that I've done on my channel as well or charcoal drawing whatever. Just get your requests about any of them in anything that you've seen that you want to see a more in-depth tutorial on just put it in comments so now I've finished Ruby's painting I'm just going to show you a few close-ups of that and what have you and if you enjoyed this video then please get a like again it all helps my channel when people do these kinds of things leave a comment and if you've not subscribed yet then you want to see more of this kind of thing then please consider subscribing because there's going to be plenty more coming Remember, the more support I get, the bigger and better I can grow this channel for you guys. So I think that'll be it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!